In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up materials in Unity HD Render Pipeline. The process is not too difficult, and we will have to re-export from Substance 3D Sampler since we exported for Arnold before, and the textures that you get are different. I'm going to go to the Share button, Export As, make sure you give it a name and a path, save as a PNG, and change your preset to Unity HD Render Pipeline Standard. You do not need to turn on Emissive since we don't have any glow effects and hit export. When you're setting up a scene in Unity in the hub, make sure you go to New Project and choose 3D Sample Scene HDRP, name your project, and put it wherever you want to save it. In Unity, you will have a default scene. Go into your Scenes folder, right-click, Create, Scene, and open up your new scene so you have a blank canvas. You can then de delete everything here except for the default HDRP default resources and the Scenes folder. We do not need the sample scene file. Importing into Unity is quite easy, and all you have to do is drag and drop. So I have two different materials I will be doing. One of them is a brick gap similar to the previous tutorial, and I'm just going to drag it into my assets. It'll take a moment to import, and you will notice that we have a lot more texture files than we had for the universal render pipeline. Our base color is the same. Then we have a detail map, a height map, and a mask map, which are very different, and we'll go over what these are later on in the semester. I'm going to right click, create folder, and just call this brick gap. And select all those textures and drag it into that folder. And I'm going to do the same thing for my other material that I made, the diamond textures. Right click, create folder, call it diamond tile, there we go. I'm also going to download an uh, HDR sphere, which we did last semester, but if you don't remember, Go to polyhaven.com, search for HDRs, and you can download any HDR here that you want. I would recommend doing an outdoor one, but you can do indoor if it fits what you are going for. And you should download at 2 or 4K resolution. When you have it downloaded, drag it into your scene. Let me find mine real quick. So you will have either an HDR file or an EXR file. They will both work the same way. I'm just going to drag mine into my assets folder. I should have a folder for materials, but since I'm not doing anything else here, I'm not going to make one. Click on your HDR image and in your inspector change texture shape from 2D to cube and if you download it at 4K make sure you tell Unity that it is a 4K texture and I like to change the compression to high quality and hit apply. I'm going to open up my first texture and click on the normal map and unlike the URP version of Unity, when you assign a normal map, it does not ask you if you want to fix it now and mark it as a normal map. So where it says texture type default, change that to normal and hit apply. I also exported all of these at 4K, so I'm going to select all of my textures and change my max size to 4K and high quality. We are not going for an efficient game, we are just trying to make it look good in Unity so we can up the settings a little bit more than we normally would.
and then I'm going to do the exact same thing for my other material. Right. So now we're ready to actually do something. I'm going to right click in my hierarchy 3D object and I'm going to make a plane. And we should just have a flat white plane in the middle of our scene. If it's not centered like mine, I'm just going to zero out my translations. I'm going to move my light back to defaults. The HDRP light sometimes messes up a little bit, so if you just select your light and rotate it, it should update with the actual lighting effects, but by default it doesn't always shine light on your scene. I'm going to start with my brick, and this brick material does have a gap in it, so we do need to get our transparency working in Unity. But first I'm going to right click create material about halfway down, and just call it brick gap. By default materials in Unity do not have displacement turned on, so we cannot use our height map. So from this shader menu at top it says HDRP slash lit. I'm going to click on it, go to the top that says HDRP, and come down to Lit Tessellation. Make sure you don't choose Layered Lit Tessellation, just Lit Tessellation. In the Surface Options under Displacement Mode, where it says None, I'm going to change that to Tessellation Displacement. And under Tessellation Options, for Tessellation Mode, change that to Fong. For um, everything else we'll update once we have the materials assigned. So I'm going to start with my base color. Left click, hold, drag, and drop to base map. And you won't see anything because I did not assign my material yet, so I'll just assign that onto my plane. So another fun fact with Unity Lights for the HD render pipeline, sometimes the intensity gets turned up a lot, which is why it looks like I don't have any texture information but my intensity is set to about 100,000, so I'm going to change that to 10, and it looks much better. So now I can rotate it, and since we just have a base color, we have a pretty flat, shiny surface. So I'll select my material again, and my next texture is a detail map. So left click, hold, and drag to detail map under detail inputs, assign it, looks a little bit better. For the height map, I'm going to left click, hold, and drag the height map. We would not have this option if we did not change to desolation, tessellation displacement. Then I have my mask map. And finally, my normal map. So as you can see, it's looking much better than we had just one. We don't have transparency working yet. And all we have to do is come up to where it says alpha clipping and turn that on. It's now going to use the alpha map that's stored in one of the textures and you also have a threshold so you can turn up and down the int how much that alpha is being used. So right now it is perfectly flat, we do not have any tessellation. So I'm going to come down to my height map and where it says parameterization, min max, I'm going to change that to amplitude. And under amplitude, you can start increasing it. I'm just left click and hold on amplitude and dragging left and right. And you will start increasing that displacement. It's going to look a little lumpy at first, but you can change your tessell tessellation factor up here, and that will increase the overall quality of it. For all tessellation, or height maps in general, the more you use, the more stretch it's going to look, because it's taking those last few pixels and stretching them. So you don't want to turn it up a whole lot, but you can definitely have a little bit of it to give a little bit of depth, and it does look quite nice. I'm going to just duplicate this plane. If you hold down V, you can snap your pivot point to a corner, and hold and just drag it and you can see that it does tile very nicely. There it is. 
Let's move it up so I don't see my grid. So we have a nice tiling texture with displacement using an opacity channel. I'm now going to go into my diamond tile folder and do the same process again. That was weird. And assign this blank material and assign all of my textures. I do have to go to. I'm uh, going to undo that real quick. Change it to lit tessellation. Tessellation displacement. Fong. Turn up my tessellation factor now. And then assign all of my textures. Now this one has some water on it as you can see in sampler has a little bit of flooding on it some wetness to the material and here it just looks really really dark and this is where our HDR sphere will come in really handy but first let's get a little bit of height and again there's only so much you can push it but you can make it look pretty good so now we have two materials set up and let's use our HDR sphere to get some extra lighting and reflections because right now our water is really dark and looks boring in my hierarchy, I'm going to right click, come to volume, and global volume. You can leave it at the default name of global volume, and in the inspector under profile, hit new. This will create a global volume that we can actually use, and we're going to be adding two overrides. This is very similar to using the post processing in the universal render pipeline. I'm going to add override and come down to sky and HDRI sky then add another override called visual environment turn on type and change that to HDRI sky it's already looking a little bit better and under the, our HDR sky I'm going to turn it on and it's asking for a cube map which we've already turned our HDR into so you can left click hold and drag it to where it says cube map and we now have the reflections where in the water where before it was just flat black you have a few more options here for rotation exposure and a few others and you can rotate it around to make it look how you want so that's the basics of setting up displacement using opacity and an HDR sphere in Unity